Hi, my name is Kat. I'm a California CPA and in this video I'll show you how to enter Schedule C in Lacerte. Let's start. Uh, so enter Schedule C. We go to Section 16, Business Income, and that's where we enter all the information. So it starts with the principle, uh, what is this business? So let's say I'm not going to enter any details. I will just enter Business 1. Here, that's where we choose the code or we can just enter it. I'll choose any because, for example, business name, if it's different than on 1040, which is in my example, it's not going to be different. Address, if it's different than on 1040, EIN, if we have one. And then we go under general information. So we do need to check if it's a cash or accrual basis, which most of the businesses are cash. We can get this information from prior year schedule C. If it's a first year a filing schedule C, we can check the box right here. And here you go. Here's the income sections where we can put income information, other income if needed, cost of goods sold, and any expenses we can have. So let's say, um, okay, so let's see what is interesting here. So cars and trucks, we don't, do not enter it here. It populates from another section, so I'll show you where. We go under uh, usually depreciation. We have auto right here. So for example, just one second. I hope it will populate. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. We have auto one and we in include all the information here. Category, things like that. We don't have to put cost unless we have to, we're planning to depreciate it. And here we have this uh, section where we enter a current year mileage so like as you know obviously it's we do mileage actual or um, we calculate using the my business mileage uh, for auto expenses whichever is higher so it's actual or standard mileage rate so we do need to enter mileage to calculate that and here we have actual expenses so we enter them here and then the software calculates what, whichever is higher, or we can also force it if you want to go mileage with mileage or actual expenses. But that's where we enter it under depreciation. Uh, so let's go back to Schedule C expenses. So you see here it says like um, that it just has to be entered elsewhere. And so car and truck expenses have to be entered elsewhere. Let's see what other. Here's the interest that can flow from elsewhere, but I mean, in this example, I don't think that's something we need, but it can. Um, there is some over, uh, O stands for override. Here is the same for um, rent. If we do need to enter it here, we can, but we can also enter it under the depreciation schedule. But I mean, for rent, you can, you can enter it here. It's gonna show up under a uh, form. It's not gonna generate any diagnostics. Let's see what else is interesting here. Wages are okay. We can also enter it here. Depreciation. I mean, obviously, it it goes from it comes from depreciation schedule. It's the same for amortization. QBI. If it's not QBI business, we need to check box here and make it specified service trade or business. Um, if there is any adjustments we have to make, that's where it's entered. Foreign income information, prior year unallowed passive losses, if any. So that's where it's entered. The other things I would like to touch base on is um, business use of home. So there is a section 29 where we enter business use of home. So here we can connect it to schedule C or whichever schedule we need to. Here we choose activity name if you have a couple schedule C. If for any reason we need to delete it this year or next year that's where it's entered so here we start with business uh use uh business use business use area so let's say it's 10 percent there's any carryovers if needed and here we have uh we enter indirect and direct expenses so indirect is related to not necessarily um, related to specific area used for business but it's just related to all of the um, all of the let's say house that is part of it is used for business so let's say indirect expenses we can say that we use 
let's say what it can be um, well let's say we do cleaning of that office and it's related only to office and it's i'm sorry it's direct expense so it's a direct expense we can just enter a hundred of utilities that is direct it's direct it's only related to the business of the i'm sorry to the office only and not to the whole building or whole house and here we enter like let's say we enter rent so we rent house for a thousand dollars and only 10 percent of it is used for business and let's say this hundred utilities are only related to the our office sorry i hope i didn't confuse everybody anyways if you go to schedule c we have it he right here and we have our income right here uh, i did not i think i entered like only accounting fees here so that's why they're right here and also you, as you can see we have business use of home right here and we can just um i'm sorry i wanted to show you on the form 8829 and that's how it's calculated directed expenses should be on this column hundred like right here i indirect it in this column and it will just calculate 10 percent of the rent for us which is 100 bucks and included all of the direct expenses hundred dollars so our business use of home is two hundred dollars all right i hope that was helpful and thank you bye I hope you found my video helpful. Uh, if you want to learn more about me and what I do, please go to my website remotecpainla.com and please subscribe to my channel. It means still a lot to me when people comment or subscribe to my channel. That makes me want to continue and record more videos. Thank you and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.